Now this is a superhero, and his name is Fact Man. He uses his superpowers to ask large language models to find and correct common myths about AI. Then he spreads his wisdom on social media platforms. If you're a C-sharp developer looking to add AI capabilities to your app, this tutorial is for you. Semantic Kernel is an SDK that acts as a bridge between our C-sharp code and large language models like OpenAI's GPT. It does this by using plugins. Plugins are the building blocks for creating AI apps using the Semantic Kernel SDK. They are a set of instructions that are executed using a large language model. All right, now we're gonna use the .NET CLI to create a new C-sharp console app, and then we're gonna install the dependencies and set everything up so we can start writing some code. .NET. Now you need to make sure you have the CLI installed on your machine so that you can use these commands. So let's do .NET new console minus N. Let's name it SK demo. Then we can CD to our directory and just to test it, we're gonna do .NET build. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna add the semantic kernel package. .NET add package Microsoft.semantic kernel. It's gonna take a few seconds, but it's gonna be installed for us. And we can see we have some uh, template code here. We're gonna remove this. And if we take a quick peek at SK demo, we can see that Microsoft semantic kernel is referenced properly. So I'm gonna go back to program and we're gonna write some configuration and add in our API key from OpenAI. So let's do that first. We're gonna do using kernel dot kernel, and then we're gonna do builder, create builder. Now we're gonna create a service that's gonna be the OpenAI chat completion service which takes in the model name. In our case, that's gonna be GPT 3.5 and an API key. And then we're gonna add this service to our builder. So to do this, we're gonna type in builder services, add OpenAI chat completion. And if we take a look here, we can see that we have other methods, but for this case, or for this tutorial, we're gonna use the OpenAI chat completion. Now we have to enter the model name, that's GPT 3.5. Five turbo and yeah, we're gonna add in our API key. So I'm not gonna add mine here, but make sure you add yours. All right, so now we can create our plugins. If you remember, we have two types of plugins, the native functions and the prompts, and we're gonna create both. So to start, we have to create a new directory here, plugins, and then inside of it, I'm gonna create another folder. And we're gonna call it fact man. Plugin. Now inside of it, I'm gonna add three separate directories. The first one, find myth. The second one, gonna be called bust myth. And the third one, adapt message. All right, so first I'm gonna configure the find myth function. And to do that, I'm gonna create a new file and call it config.json. All right, so we're gonna add our configuration inside of this file. And for example, we can add the description of find myth, and then we can add maximum tokens to use when we're talking with GPT. All right, so first, I'm gonna type schema one, and then I'm gonna put the description of this function. And what find myth does, well, it finds a myth. So we can say find a common myth about AI. And then I'm gonna say execution settings and add max tokens. Let's use a maximum of a thousand. And then temperature, uh, let's put 0 0.9, so uh, higher accuracy. Now there are more parameters here that you can add. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you just so you can take a look. But for this example, that's fine. We can go with this. And now we're gonna write the prompt that we're gonna send to the model. So I'm gonna create a new file they need to be in the same directory as find myth, and we're gonna call it skprompt.txt. I have a prompt that I wrote before, so I'm gonna paste it. And so we're saying respond with a common myth about artificial intelligence. Myth must be G-rated, whatever. And then do not invent myths about real people or organizations. Obviously you can change this as you want, but that's enough just to kind of extract a myth from the model. 
Now with the next plugin, we're going to see how we can add some input parameters here. So variables that we can change from the code itself. We're going to do the same thing as find myth. So we're going to create our two files, config and escape prompt. Let me do this very quickly. Now the difference here is that we're going to add our input variables. If you remember, find myth is going to ask GPT to find a myth. And then we're going to take this myth and pass it to bust myth. That's our input variable. So let's do the configuration. And it's, uh, it's the same thing as before. That's going to be 0.9. Input variables, variables. And this is an array. We just have one variable. So we're going to do name, myth, uh, description, the myth you want to bust. And that's it. And then within our SK prompt file here, that's our new text. And we said, given the myth below, bust it in a funny way for those who believe it. Your response should be safe for all ages. Be factual. And then this is our variable here. So this is myth. And this is exactly what we're defining here. So basically bust myth is going to expect a myth parameter whenever we call it. Now again, we're going to do the same thing for that message. Uh, all right, now we have two variables. So we have the input itself, which is the busted myth, and then the platform that we need. So as you can see, Copilot here suggested two variables for us. We're going to go with both of them. I'm going to change this to input, the text to be transformed. All right. And then we have the platform variable. That's a long list. I'm just going to remove it here. Okay. And that's it. Perfect. So now we have our input variables, input and platform. The input is going to be the busted myth. And then the platform is going to be like Twitter, X, LinkedIn, or any other platform. And then we're going to send both this one and this one to GPT and ask it to change this input to match the best practices of this platform. And to do this, we're going to do it within our prompt. So let me add this prompt, which says you write engaging social media posts. You are an influencer on platform. So that's going to be Twitter or whatever we pass. And then always start your sentence by saying fact man to the rescue. And then line break, take the below idea and repurpose it for your audience. This is the idea and that's the input. Okay, perfect. So our adapt message function is going to expect two variables here, platform and input. All right, so now we're going to create our social plugin. And to do this, I'm going to go to the plugins folder, create a new file and call it socialplugin.cs. Now this is a C sharp file, as you can tell by the extension, because this is a native function plugin. As you remember, we have two types of plugins and semantic kernel native functions, and prompts. Now this one here is a plugin of type native function. And find myth, bust myth, and adapt message, these are functions within the factman plugin of type prompt. That's why we had the SK prompt and the config, and here we have a CS extension. And then we're going to say public class, social plugin, and that's going to be a kernel function. Description, simulate, posting to a social media platform. Now this kernel function here tells or indicates to the kernel within semantic kernel that it can use this function here whenever it's doing its processing. So the function, we're going to call it post. And then we're going to have another description here. String message. Now, just gonna add a delay here of one second. And then I'm gonna say posting to this message to platform. Now we're gonna do a switch operator, platform to lower. Copilot suggested this. And I think it's pretty good, so I'm gonna accept it. And that's everything. Now our kernel knows that it can use this post method within the social plugin here to kind of send the message to a given platform. Now, obviously, this this is just a, uh, a right line method here, it doesn't do anything, you would want to add your logic here, or maybe integrate 
with the Twitter API or the Facebook API. Now the last thing that we need to do is put everything together. So I'm going to open the menu here and then I'm going to go to program and we're going to write some code to call these plugins. So we're going to do builder plugins and we have the social plugin that we just created. Now the builder knows about it. We're going to add our plugin from the directory now from prompt directory and we're going to do plugins fact and plugin and this obviously refers to this plugin here all right now we're going to build this kernel so we're going to call it builder.build and what build does is it knows to set up our kernel using this service and these plugins all right now we're going to set up our uh our find myth function so we're going to do common myth wait kernel invoke async and we're going to do fact man plugin and then we're just going to call the function by its name so find myth great now we're going to do the same thing for bust myth now since bust myth expects a input variable myth we're going to add it so what we're going to do here i'm going to do a comma new and i'm going to open the curly brackets copilot suggested something here gonna accept it and that's it now let's do the adapt message call and it's called adapt message new now adapt message is going to take this busted myth here this variable and this platform twitter and it's going to pass it using this prompt so it's going to say you're an influencer on twitter and this is the idea that's the busted myth now finally we're going to call our social plugin and simulate posting to a social media platform so let's do this i'm going to do var post to platform so now we're going to use the social plugin here and we're going to call the post method that we created and we're going to pass in our input variables we have the platform let's do twitter and we have our message which is our optimized response uh yeah sorry these are commas here this one is a comma too okay one thing that you shouldn't forget is to add your open ai api key here before you run this now, after you do this let's just add a few logs here to see what's happening so right line common myth and then right line busted myth now we don't need to log this since we're sending it to this function or to this plugin and uh, it's going to log it since we have the uh, log here i'm going to hit save and now i'm going to switch over to the terminal i'm going to do dot net run and we're going to see our common myth our busted myth and posting to social media so that's everything as you can see this one was generated by gpt and then this here was sent again to gpt with our modified prompt uh, using the bust myth function that's the response we got finally it was adapted to fit the style of twitter as you can see we have hashtags and emojis our post simulator returned that the tweet was successful and that's everything I wanted to show you for this tutorial.